Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to solve another fun geometry problem. So our goal is to find the end area of this square that's inscribed between four circles. Um, so if you'd like to give this a shot, go ahead and pause your video and try to figure it out. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. So what we're going to do is the first thing I'm going to notice is that if I go straight across at these circles, I break them to the center, then I have this radius four times. So we know that four times the radius is going to be equal to two, which means that our radius is going to equal one half. So the radius of one of these squares is one half. The next thing we can do is if we look at just going from the centers, between the centers of a few of these different squares, then I notice that I have the radius, the radius, the radius, the radius, the radius, and the radius. And then I have whatever this inner length, which I'll call A. And what do I notice? So this looks like a pretty simple right triangle. So if I go ahead and look at this right triangle, I can see that I have 2R squared plus 2R squared is equal to r plus r plus a quantity squared. But what do we know? We know that, as we just showed, r is equal to 1 half. So what this equation really says is 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 squared is equal to 1 plus a squared. So, if we look at this equation down here, let's solve for a. So we're going to get 2 is equal to 1 plus a squared. Uh, we know the length a is going to be uh, greater than 0, so that quantity inside is going to be greater than 0. So we can just go ahead and say 1 plus a, root both sides, is going to be the square root of 2. So a is going to be equal to square root of 2 minus 1. But we wanted to find the area of this inner square. So the total area then is just going to be the quantity a squared, which is the square root of 2 minus 1 squared, which is going to give us the first term squared, which is 2, minus 2 times root 2, and then the last term squared, which is plus 1, which is going to give us 3 minus 2 root 2. So our final answer for the area of that inner square is going to be 3 minus 2 square root of 2. 2 square root of 2 is a little over 1.8, or a little over 2.8, sorry. So we're going to be a little less than 0.2 for our total area. All right, and that is the solution to this quick little problem. I hope you enjoyed working through this with me. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own problem you'd like me to do, please submit it via email. And as you're working on problems on your own, think once, think twice, and if you really get struck, three, think twice, think thrice, sorry.